everyone. I'm Todd Cogdell, Technical Service Manager with FMC here in Iowa. And I'm in a cornfield here in Shelby County, Iowa, where Adastrial fungicide was applied on August 4th. Today is September 12th, so we're 36 days after treatment. And I'm gonna just walk you through this field, uh, show you that transition line between the uh, non-treated area of this field and where Adastrial fungicide was applied. So here we are in the non-treated area. As you can see, uh, tar spot, very heavy pressure here in the mid canopy around the ear leaf, uh, starting to have leaves uh, senesce off. And that pressure continues up into the upper parts of the canopy. And it's going to continue spreading uh, as the season uh, winds down here. So let's keep walking forward here. Like I said, uh, still here in that non-treated area. You can see this canopy uh, of the crop is, is really struggling. The tar spot pressure is really taking off here, uh, really giving that crop a, a hard time here in early September. So we'll just keep walking here. Like I said, continuing to spread up in, into that upper canopy. And now we've transitioned into the area where Adachio fungicide was applied. You can see a much healthier green canopy, excellent control of tar spot, and supporting this crop uh, in this later parts of, of grain fill. So let's go ahead, take a look at the ear here, split apart, and, and show where we are from a stage standpoint. So here's that ear split in half. This hybrid is sitting right about half milk line. So it's got about two weeks to go to get to black glare. And in those last two weeks, about five to 10% of the yield potential uh, is still there to be determined. And so just happy to see that disease protection and that, that healthy green canopy from Adachio fungicide here to support that plant uh, during these final stages of, of grain fill and to get it to the finish line here at the end of the season.